Okay, folks, here it is. The brains of my power path controller. Now, this is not the, the fully integrated solution. There's no battery charger and boost in line with this, but this is just showing the power management uh, portion of this. So we have a, a switch that's kind of buried down here that you can use as well as a push button right here mounted to the board. So we're going to apply power. I'll show you the push button first. You press the push button and the Raspberry Pi boots. Obviously this is gonna gonna take a little bit here, but uh, the basics of how this works is that uh, the switch or the push button enables power. That boots up the Raspberry Pi, and then there's a daemon running on the Raspberry Pi that looks for an interrupt. Uh, the interrupt can be generated from either turning the switch off or pressing the button again. Then that tells the Raspberry Pi to shut down. Once shut down, the Raspberry Pi initiates a kill command to the board or to the power management IC. You can see it here that tells it to go ahead and cut the physical power. And that's the, the basics of it. Um, on my full version of the board that I'm going to integrate with the battery charger and boost controller, uh, it will also have a function where. Uh, the low battery uh, can either be used to send a command to the Raspberry Pi to tell it to shut down or send a command directly to this to tell the Raspberry Pi to shut down. Um, so here we are, we'll, we'll go ahead and initiate a shutdown. We're going to press the button again. You can see we shut down and then physical power is cut. So here I'm going to show you the same thing with the switch and then I'll keep talking about the other stuff. Switch is flipped. Um, so, uh, if you tie the low battery output directly to the interrupt, it'll tell the Raspberry Pi to shut down, and then the shutdown will kill it. Uh, this does not give you time to save games and whatnot. So you can also use the, ras the, the low battery output, uh, and I level shifted the output to pull low instead of pulling high like the, the native uh, output of the uh, low battery indicator is. Uh, makes it a little easier to configure Raspberry Pi inputs um, with a pull-up. And what that'll do is then you could run another daemon on the machine, uh, on the Raspberry Pi to give you some kind of indication that you have a low battery and shut down in a certain amount of time. Um, the other feature that this has is uh, if it does not receive a shutdown command like your Raspberry Pi, a kill command like your Raspberry Pi is shut down and happily ready to be turned off, then uh, it'll wait approximately 25 seconds and then kill the power anyway. Uh, and that's how it works with the switch. If you're using the button to force a shutdown without uh, getting a kill command from the Raspberry Pi saying it shut down, say things are uh, frozen in that sense, then you would just press and hold the push button for the 25 seconds instead of it just waiting 25 seconds for a command. Anyway, there you go. There it is. It shuts down. Uh, the system shuts down gracefully, saves whatever's going on, and then uh, kills power to itself uh, via the power manager.